The biggest mistake you can make is thinking you have time. Alex Hormozzi We do not stop playing because we grow old. We grow old because we stop playing. Enjoy present pleasures in such a way as not to injure future ones. It is the power of the mind to be unconquerable. Seneca History will be kind to you because you intend to write it. Pride and excess bring disaster for man. We cannot be more sensitive to pleasure without being more sensitive to pain. Alan Watts From Alexander the Grammarian, to be unreprovable myself and not reproachfully to reprehend any man for a barbarism or a solecism or any false pronunciation, but dexterously by way of answer or testimony or confirmation of the same matter, taking no notice of the word, to utter it as it should have been spoken, or by some other such close and indirect admonition, handsomely and civilly to tell him of it. Very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself, in your way of thinking. Be extremely subtle, even to the point of formlessness. Be extremely mysterious, even to the point of soundlessness. Thereby you can be the director of the opponent's fate. The superior man is modest in his speech, but exceeds in his actions. Confucius. No regrets, just lessons. No worries, just acceptance. No expectations, just gratitude. It is not the mountain we conquer, but ourselves. Without music, life would be a mistake. Friedrich Nietzsche, Twilight of the Idols. The true joy of a man is to do that which properly belongs unto a man. That which is most proper unto a man is, first, to be kindly affected towards them that are of the same kind and nature as he is himself, to contemn all sensual motions and appetites, to discern rightly all plausible fancies and imaginations, to contemplate the nature of the universe, both it and things that are done in it, in which kind of contemplation three several relations are to be observed, the first to the apparent secondary cause, the second to the first original cause, God, from whom originally proceeds whatsoever doth happen in the world, the third and last, to them that we live and converse with, what use may be made of it to their use and benefit. Never make a permanent decision based on temporary emotions. People change, love hurts, friends leave, things go wrong, but remember that life goes on. Freedom is not achieved by satisfying desire, but by eliminating it. Epictetus Do not go to the past, not for happiness, not for justification, not for excuses. Do not be emotionally attached to anyone. People change. Even your best friends may probably turn into strangers one day. Doing what you love is the cornerstone of having abundance in your life. Wayne Dyer
miscellaneous. When some person asked him how it happened that since reason has been more cultivated by the men of the present age, the progress made in former times was greater. In what respect, he answered, has it been more cultivated now? And in what respect was the progress greater then? For in that in which it has now been more cultivated, in that also the progress will now be found. At present it has been cultivated for the purpose of resolving syllogisms, and progress is made. But in former times it was cultivated for the purpose of maintaining the governing faculty in a condition conformable to nature, and progress was made. Do not, then, mix things which are different, and do not expect, when you are laboring at one thing, to make progress in another. But see if any man among us, when he is intent, see I upon this, the keeping himself in a state conformable to nature and living so always, does not make progress. For you will not find such a man. The good man is invincible, for he does not enter the contest where he is not stronger. If you want to have his land and all that is on it, take the land, take his slaves, take his magisterial office, take his poor body. But you will not make his desire fail in that which it seeks, nor his aversion fall into that which he would avoid. The only contest into which he enters is that about things which are within the power of his will. How then will he not be invincible? Some person having asked him what is common sense, Epictetus replied, As that may be called a certain common hearing which only distinguishes vocal sounds, and that which distinguishes musical sounds is not common, but artificial. So there are certain things which men who are not altogether perverted see by the common notions which all possess. Such a constitution of the mind is named common sense. It is not easy to exhort weak young men, for neither is it easy to hold cheese with a hook. But those who have a good natural disposition, even if you try to turn them aside, cling still more to reason. Wherefore Rufus generally attempted to discourage, and he used this method as a test of those who had a good natural disposition and those who had not. For, it was his habit to say, as a stone, if you cast it upward, will be brought down to the earth by its own nature. So the man whose mind is naturally good, the more you repel him, the more he turns toward that to which he is naturally inclined. People are more selfish than you think they are. Great minds discuss ideas, average minds discuss events, small minds discuss people. What we do now echoes in eternity. Marcus Aurelius A wise man gets more use from his enemies than a fool from his friends. If the only prayer you ever say in your entire life is thank you, it will be enough. The past has no power over the present moment. Eckhart Tolle The nature of the universe, of the common substance of all things as it were, of so much wax hath now perchance formed a horse, and then destroying that figure, hath new tempered and fashioned the matter of it into the form and substance of a tree, then that again into the form and substance of a man, and then that again into some other. Now every one of these doth subsist but for a very little while. As for dissolution, if it be no grievous thing to the chest or trunk, to be joined together, why should it be more grievous to be put asunder? When you arise in the morning, think of what a privilege it is to be alive, to think, to enjoy, to love.
do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Wheresoever you go, go with all your heart, Confucius. He that displays too often his wife and his wallet is in danger of having both of them borrowed. You the only person who has to be with yourself 100% of the time, so start liking yourself and who you are. If you believe it will work out, you'll see opportunities. If you believe it won't, you will see obstacles. Wayne Dyer Honor that which is chiefest and most powerful in the world, and that is it, which makes use of all things and governs all things. So also in thyself, Honor that which is chiefest and most powerful, and is of one kind and nature with that which we now spake of. For it is the very same which being in thee turneth all other things to its own use, and by whom also thy life is governed. We are all human, and everyone makes mistakes. Only put off until tomorrow what you are willing to die having left undone. If you are distressed by anything external, the pain is not due to the thing itself, but to your estimate of it, and this you have the power to revoke at any moment. Epictetus This quote reinforces the Stoic belief in the power of perspective, and the ability to choose our reactions to external events. One finds limits by pushing them. When each day is the same as the next, it's because people fail to recognize the good things that happen in their lives every day that the sun rises. The best way to take care of the future is to take care of the present moment. Thich Nhat Han. O oh my soul, the time I trust will be when thou shalt be good, simple, single, more open and visible than that body by which it is enclosed. Thou wilt one day be sensible of their happiness, whose end is love and their affections dead to all worldly things. Thou shalt one day be full, and in want of no external thing, not seeking pleasure from anything, either living or insensible, that this world can afford, neither wanting time for the continuation of thy pleasure, nor place and opportunity, nor the favor either of the weather or of men, when thou shalt have content in thy present estate, and all things present shall add to thy content, when thou shalt persuade thyself that thou hast all things, all for thy good, and all by the providence of the gods. And of things future also shalt be as confident that all will do well, as tending to the maintenance and preservation in some sort of his perfect welfare and happiness, who is perfection of life, of goodness and beauty, who begets all things, and containeth all things in himself, and in himself doth recollect all things from all places that are dissolved, that of them he may beget others again like unto them. Such one day shall be thy disposition, that thou shalt be able both in regard of the gods and in regard of men, so to fit and order thy conversation, as neither to complain of them at any time for anything that they do, nor to do anything thyself, for which thou mayest justly be condemned, Our greatest battles are that with our own minds. You become what you think about. The most terrifying words in the English language are, I'm from the government and I'm here to help. Ronald Reagan
Do not let anyone ever make you feel like you don't deserve what you want. I have just three things to teach. Simplicity, patience, compassion. These three are your greatest treasures. Time is an illusion, Alan Watts. When you see someone weeping in grief because their child has gone abroad or because they have lost their property, take care not to be carried away by the impression that these external things involve them in anything bad, but be ready to say immediately, this person is not distressed by what has happened, for it does not distress anyone else, but by the judgment they make of it. Do not hesitate, however, to sympathize with words or if it so happens to weep with them. But take care not to weep inwardly. Accept criticism, but never accept disrespect. Adversity has the effect of eliciting talents which in prosperous circumstances would have lain dormant. The buck stops here, Harry S. Truman. When we love, we always strive to become better than we are. When we strive to become better than we are, everything around us becomes better too. Do not be afraid to take risks and try new things. Life is too short to always play it safe. At any given moment, you have the power to say, this is not how the story is going to end. Deepak Chopra As they that long after figs in winter when they cannot be had, so are they that long after children, before they be granted them. It's a slow process, but quitting won't speed it up. Being cool, calm, and collected in a stressful situation is extremely important. This doesn't mean you need to suppress your emotions. Just don't let them get the better of you. He needs little who desires but little, Calenthes. You can't go back and change the beginning, but you can start where you are and change the ending. Above all things, respect yourself. It's not over until you win, Les Brown. It is but an ordinary coarse one, yet it is a good effectual remedy against the fear of death for a man to consider in his mind the examples of such who greedily and covetously, as it were, did for a long time enjoy their lives. What have they got more than they whose deaths have been untimely? Are not they themselves dead at the last, as Cadiciants, Fabius, Julianus, Lepidus, or any other who in their lifetime having buried many, were at the last buried themselves. The whole space of any man's life is but little, and as little as it is, with what troubles, with what manner of dispositions, and in the society of how wretched a body must it be passed. Let it be therefore unto thee altogether as a matter of indifferency. For if thou shalt look backward, behold what an infinite chaos of time doth present itself unto thee, and as infinite a chaos if thou shalt look forward. In that which is so infinite, what difference can there be between that which liveth but three days and that which liveth three ages? Remove the clowns from your life before you become one.
We do not stop playing because we grow old. We grow old because we stop playing. Success is not the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success. Albert Schweitzer Failure is not always a mistake. It may simply be the best one can do under the circumstances. The real mistake is to stop trying. We are not rich by what we possess, but by what we can do without. The self is not a concept. It is your true nature. Papaji. Fancy not to thyself things future, as though they were present, but of those that are present. Take some aside, that thou takest most benefit of, and consider of them particularly, how wonderfully thou wouldst want them, if they were not present. But take heed withal, lest that whilst thou dost settle thy contentment in things present, thou grow in time so to overprize them, as that the want of them, whensoever it shall so fall out, should be a trouble and a vexation unto thee. Wind up thyself into thyself. Such is the nature of thy reasonable commanding part, as that if it exercise justice, and have by that means tranquility within itself, it doth rest fully satisfied with itself without any other thing. Do the hard jobs first. The easy jobs will take care of themselves. The master has failed more times than the beginner has even tried. True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. Seneca Never trust a lonely friend because, while some find strength in solitude, others may lose their way in it. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. In true dialogue, both sides are willing to change. Thich Nhat Hanh. Either with Epicurus we must fondly imagine the atoms to be the cause of all things, or we must needs grant a nature. Let this then be thy first ground, that thou art part of that universe, which is governed by nature. Then secondly, that to those parts that are of the same kind and nature as thou art, thou hast relation of kindred. For of these, if I shall always be mindful, first as I am a part, I shall never be displeased with anything that falls to my particular share of the common chances of the world, for nothing that is behoveful unto the whole can be truly hurtful to that which is part of it. For this being the common privilege of all natures, that they contain nothing in themselves that is hurtful unto them. It cannot be that the nature of the universe, whose privilege beyond other particular natures is that she cannot against her will by any higher external cause be constrained, should beget anything and cherish it in her bosom that should tend to her own hurt and prejudice. As then I bear in mind that I am a part of such an universe, I shall not be displeased with anything that happens, and as I have relation of kindred to those parts that are of the same kind and nature that I am, so I shall be careful to do nothing that is prejudicial to the community, but in all my deliberations shall they that are of my kind ever be, and the common good, that which all my intentions and resolutions shall drive unto, as that which is contrary unto it, I shall by all means endeavor to prevent and avoid. These things once so fixed and concluded, as thou wouldst think him a happy citizen, 
whose constant study and practice were for the good and benefit of his fellow citizens, and the carriage of the city such towards him, that he were well pleased with it. So must it needs be with thee, that thou shalt live a happy life. Never confuse motion with action. If the path is beautiful, let us not ask where it leads. Peace comes from within. Do not seek it without. Buddha Things are not always completely clear. You are responsible for your own happiness. If you expect others to make you happy, you will always be disappointed. The way you see people is the way you treat them, and the way you treat them is what they become. Zig Ziglar Accustom yourself to believing that death is nothing to us, for good and evil imply the capacity for sensation, and death is the privation of all sentience. Therefore a correct understanding that death is nothing to us makes the mortality of life enjoyable, not by adding to life a limitless time, but by taking away the yearning after immortality. For life has no terrors for him who has thoroughly understood that there are no terrors for him in ceasing to live. Foolish, therefore, is the man who says that he fears death, not because it will pain when it comes, but because it pains in the prospect. Whatever causes no annoyance when it is present causes only a groundless pain in the expectation. Death, therefore, the most awful of evils, is nothing to us, seeing that when we are, Death is not come, and when death is come, we are not. It is nothing then either to the living or to the dead, for with the living it is not, and the dead exist no longer. Don't waste your money. You can earn it again. If you miss the moment, it can never be returned. Live life with opened eyes, ears, and heart. In every situation, life is asking us a question, and our actions are the answer. Our job is simply to answer well. The best revenge is massive success. Marcus Aurelius This quote reflects the Stoic belief in focusing on personal growth and achievement, rather than dwelling on negative emotions like anger or resentment. They are not dead who live in the hearts they leave behind. Why life will only come around once, so do whatever makes you happy. We become what we think about. Jay Shetty Let these be the objects of thy ordinary meditation, to consider what manner of men both for soul and body we ought to be, whensoever death shall surprise us, the shortness of this our mortal life, the immense vastness of the time that hath been before, and will he after us, the frailty of every worldly material object, all these things to consider, and behold clearly in themselves, all disguisement of external outside being removed and taken away. Again, to consider the efficient causes of all things, the proper ends and references of all actions, what pain is in itself, what pleasure, what death. Do not shake the green apple tree. When the apple is ripe, it will fall down by itself. <laughs> 